Welcome back to my Keep Up channel. Tragic twist after Sydney Boys is killed in horror car crash in Monterey as a relative is charged with dangerous driving, causing death. The two children killed in a horror car crash in Sydney South have been remembered as beautiful boys as a relative is charged over the incident. Brother Xavier and Peter Abreu, aged 10 and 9, died after the Subaru WRX they were traveling in crashed into a tree on Grand Parade in Monterey at 9.50 p.m. on Friday. The boy's cousin, a nine-year-old girl, was also in the car and suffered minor injuries. Jimmy Martin Brito, 33, a relative of the boy's and the girl's father, has since been charged with two counts of dangerous driving, causing death and one count of causing bodily harm by misconduct. The boy's stepmother, Javon Garrido, has set up a fundraiser to help support the grieving family. The beautiful boys lost their lives in tragic circumstances, however their memories will live on forever with the family, she wrote in a post to GoFundMe on Sunday. The boys leave behind their father Samuel, mother Olympia Eliferous, stepmother Javon, and brothers Alex and Jacob. We thank everyone who has already shown the size of their hearts with heartfelt messages and flowers at the site, Ms. Garrido said. We thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Police allege in court documents Brito was driving in a manner dangerous to another person at the time of the impact. He was supposed to face court via a hospital bedside hearing on Sunday, but the matter was adjourned after his defense lawyer, Fahim Arya, told the court they were not ready to proceed, with Brito still recovering from serious injuries sustained in the crash. Outside court, Mr. Arya told reporters his client has had a limited conversation with the mother of the two boys, who is his sister, who died while he has been in hospital. Mr. Arya said the mother was distraught and distressed but still supports and stands by him. He added that Brito was fresh out of surgery and on medication as he begins his long road to recovery. I don't know if he knows the two little ones have lost their lives, Mr. Arya said. Police will allege that Brito was speeding when he lost control of the vehicle and veered onto the wrong side of the road and into a tree at the intersection of the Grand Parade and Culver Street. The boys, who were sitting in the back seat, were freed from the wreckage and rushed to Sydney Children's Hospital at Randwick, where they died shortly afterwards. The girl, who was sitting in the front passenger seat, was also taken to hospital for minor injuries. Brito was taken to St. George Hospital under police guard and remained there on Sunday. Meanwhile, members of the community have flocked to the scene of the crash to pay their respects to the brothers who lost their lives. A makeshift memorial has been erected at the base of the tree the car struck, with mourners leaving flowers and teddy bears. The extent of the carnage was still visible on the tree on Saturday, with a large panel of bark missing, gouge marks etched into the trunk, and shards of glass embedded into the wood. The impact of the crash was so intense that the engine from the Subaru Impreza was flung from the bonnet. Police are investigating whether street racing was involved in the crash and are hunting a gray sedan they believe may have been involved in the incident. CCTV captured a gray car driving away from the horror scene moments after the collision. We'll be seeking the assistance of members of the public to identify a gray sedan that was traveling in lane one around the time of the collision, NSW Police Detective Inspector Jason Hogan said. Police are trying to determine whether the Subaru and Gray sedan were street racing before the collision in their investigation. Anyone with information, dash, cam or CCTV is urged to contact police or Crime Stoppers on 1-800-333-000. Source, dailymail.co.uk Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.